Welcome to the global interview. Thank you for listening. This is where you can keep up to date with all the latest news and information direct from leading creatives, leaders, and thinkers. We can help to keep you right up to date with all the latest information from interesting people who make a real difference in this globally connected world. You can find out more about the show at theglobalinterview.com. Enjoy the episode. Caroline Pavey is an award-winning, number one best-selling author, with her book Feel It to Heal It. International speaker, CEO, and founder of TRE UK. A specialist in her unique program, the Total Release Experience, effectively empowers people to release stress and trauma symptoms where traditional methods have failed. She comes highly recommended by professionals, including dress, psychotherapists, and therapists. The program reaches the heart of organizations, families, key workers, and everyday people worldwide. The Jewish community, fire, and rescue, the police, and prison service have adopted the program. Caroline was voted in the top 10 women to watch in well-being. After an expedition to Malawi in 2018, Caroline took her ripple further afield by training nine adults to use the total release experience to treat their community. Now with 19 trained adults, over 3,500 challenged children in Africa have been supported to release their trauma and build resilience, so they can go on to lead happy and healthy lives. Caroline continues with a passion for spreading her message globally. Tell us about your current role and what you like about your career slash role or areas of focus. In 2011 I founded TRE UK, our clients are physically, mentally and emotionally challenged from past or present stressful, overwhelming or traumatic experiences. We empower them to discover the power of their own body to heal itself with my unique program, the Total Release Experience. Through online courses requiring no talking, which can be done in one's own time and space. We provide all the education, knowledge, explanations, and practical guided sessions to start their healing journey. They learn a life tool and a tool for life. I don't just like my work, I love it, it is my passion. My focus is to make available the support clients may need on their healing journey. Engage with heads of organizations struggling to find a cost-effective, simple, practical, sustainable solution that works for their staff to benefit their mental health and reduce absenteeism from stress. Continue to write and speak to share my message around the world. People need to know there is hope and not to give up. What inspires you, motivates you, helps you to make each day count? Asking myself each morning, how many lives can I change today? Reading the messages of gratitude, positive emails and texts from clients from all over the world who share their stories and step changes as they transform their lives from what they have learned from me. Every day, I pinch myself that I was gifted with the opportunity to do the work I do and make a difference. Outside of your professional work area, what hobbies or interests do you have or what other areas of your life are of real importance to you? My family are and always will be my first love though, times together have been few and far between this last year. With six grandchildren, I am blessed and love to spend time with them. I also have a yoga studio. With 28 years of experience, I enjoy yoga for me too. I am a lover of nature, going on walks with my husband and dog. I have taken to running and am building my experience. I would love to achieve a marathon. I am so very happy with my whole life. When it comes to your life chosen career, is there a phrase, quote, or saying that you really like? You have to leave the city of your comfort zone and go into the wilderness of your intuition. What you discover will be wonderful. What you'll discover is yourself Alan Alder. If you always do what you have always done, you will always get what you have always got Tony Robbins. We all have the power to change what we don't like in life or what doesn't make us happy. It is no good complaining or moaning about our state of well-being if we carry on doing the same things. In my work, health is our greatest wealth, our body has the power to heal itself in a way no one else can. We all hold the magic wand. However, it requires discipline, vision, and work. No one can do it for us. We have to want to change. What are you most proud of in your life? I have had many proud moments in my life, but stepping up and following my instinct and passion, I ploughed through barriers and built a company delivering a program that in 2011 the very idea didn't exist. 
My work is now respected and integrated into the lives of professionals who are recommending it. The day I walked into prison with my son Daniel to start working with the inmates. I felt so proud to have opened that door. After nearly three years, it was only for COVID we had to stop. Being voted in the top ten women to watch in well-being. Most recently, after eight years of evolving my work from a journey of discovery, I had the most amazing content to write my first book. It was always a dream of mine, and that just six weeks after publication Feel It to Heal It became a number one bestseller in alternatives and medicine. Now my message is being read globally. My journey is far from over. What do you wish you had known when you started out? As strange as this might sound, I have had an incredible journey with my work, it has been a bit like developing a vaccine. It has evolved as I have made discoveries about the most powerful thing a body can do. It is only from working with many clients over the years I am the master of my work, for I learned and continue to learn from every client. I guess the one thing I would have liked to have been aware of earlier is that it can sometimes be lonely as a pioneer. Who do you most admire in business, academic or creative circles? I admire a woman I would love to meet, Dr. Edith Egger, author of her book The Choice. Reading about the Holocaust was never anything I would have chosen. One of my clients lent me the book, but I bought my copy. As soon as I started reading, her message was so very much aligned with mine. Reading her story, I was spellbound, what courage and strength she had to survive what she did and how she went on to inspire others. Remarkable. What companies, brands, or institutions do you like or do you think are getting it right? Many brands and companies that I may have admired for their growth and sustainability in serving have disappeared. So I am looking forward to new emerging passion-driven leaders who will become the brands for the next generation. What is the best advice you have ever received? I will never forget the wise words of my dad, have your dreams and build your castles in the air, but make sure you build them on more than sand. How many businesses jump in with no foundation and collapse? It often happens when the order book grows too quick, and they cannot provide or serve. I have my vision. It may have been a seemingly slow process to some, but all for a good reason. We have a solid foundation for growth. A doctor from the WHO said to me some months back, are you ready for 80,000 clients? A solid foundation is what we need, and we have that, all right. 80k? Bring it on. What drives or motivates you each day in a work environment? Passion for what I do and the impact on others. What are your thoughts on the future of social media? Secretly I am hoping when we all move out of lockdown. Everyone will be SM detoxing. I would love to see clear lines, four platforms with which to connect. Business, friends, family, activities. Everything is everywhere, totally overwhelming and distracting. I like things to be simple. What is your favorite social media platform, and why? I am on social media as I have to be. It has been a huge learning curve, and I am getting better at it. The jury is still out as to which is favorite. For my work, I am erring towards LinkedIn. Do you have a mentor, or have you ever been a mentor to anyone? When I was a teacher, I became a mentor to student teachers, I loved sharing and supporting others from my experiences, for they were treading their path just behind me. I mentor my practitioners, key to building their confidence to support clients. If I want any advice, I know who I would go to for it, and it would be from the ones I know had the experience behind them. I mostly forge my way, following my instincts. I work closely with my son Daniel. We bounce everything off each other. How do you network? What is your preferred way to network? I love networking and meeting new people. In my early years, I did the rounds with all the varying morning breakfast groups. After which, I joined Brand Builders, a great network of entrepreneurs, I am still part of that. Like most, I network online. I now network with two groups in the USA, one in Spain and two in the UK. It all works well. I also have other professional groups with whom I love to connect and collaborate. I have some great clients who are advocates of our work too. What advice would you have for someone looking to get into the same area of work? Interesting question. I have many people that have asked about my training when they have learned my program. 
but then they disappear. I only know what I do, for I created it and had that vision and mission back in 2011. Nothing has ever stopped me, nor have I ever thought I have had enough. It takes passion, compassion, inspiration and excellent communication to deliver. Unless you have that, you will never enjoy or serve as clients deserve. That applies to anyone in the well-being world. The number one priority, too, has to be that you have healed from your past. How many work behind a painted smile? What do you feel is the most common reason for people failing or giving up? I have always been in business one way or another. I made some real mistakes when I was young and naive. There was no real plan, back to the foundation. My dad taught me a lot about being professional and so much more. I have felt moving forward in business is like climbing a mountain. There will be many obstacles in the way, and when you meet them, you have two choices give up or step up. I always chose to step up, many more give up as it is too much like hard work. If you believe in what you do, keep going. How do you define success, and what lessons have you learned so far that you could share with our audience? To me, success is how many lives we change. I have never set my goal on money, for I know that the money flows by doing what I am passionate about. If money is your goal, your passion and love for what you do will be lost. Never take on more than you can manage unless you want to swamp yourself and suffer physically, mentally, and emotionally. Keep your eye on the ball. Never be afraid to ask for help or support, but choose carefully. What skills do you feel have helped you to become successful? My life journey has led me to my purpose, and I utilize all the skills I ever learned, business, youth work, teaching, therapist, yoga teacher. I use my knowledge and skills from every experience. It struck me one day too when a man said to me, it is so unusual to meet someone who not only has business skills but is a compassionate therapist, can teach but is also spiritual. I realized at that moment, I was using it all. Not missing a single opportunity either has supported my success. Anything else you would like to share with our audience? If you are not happy doing what you do, get out. You have a purpose in life, don't deny the world your gifts. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there John Asaraf. I encourage people to step out of their comfort zone to grow into the person they are meant to be. Let go of carrying around the baggage of the past. Set yourself free. Is there anything new that you are working on or involved in that you would like to share? I have some very exciting projects as I have been pushing on doors hoping they will open. While I would love to share right now, I remember my dear mum's words, many a slip twixt cup and lip. I will shout loud and proud soon enough when the doors are fully open. Thank you for listening to this episode from The Global Interview. We appreciate your support. If you would like to find out more please visit theglobalinterview.com. <laughs>